so the uh, some some uh, uh, projects start from the outside, right, uh, like okay. that, and then you have to try to figure out how to. For, but most recently, my recent cat, they start with the idea that occurs to me in some way that I cannot d describe, and and. Uh, I mean, it becomes it, yeah. increasingly important. Well, you had mentioned earlier how you converse with friends, you know, with um, collaborate, collaborated colleagues. Um, colleagues. Um, what other things go on in, in your mind? Um, is it ever based on dream or, or anything um, from your childhood or your own life experiences? Well, well life experiences, yes, not, uh, not as far as I know to my dreams. But mainly, mainly the the ideas come from things that feel important to me that I want to speak about that I, that I feel strongly about, and I want to express in musical or dramatic form. So you could just kind of feel that this is yes, something you really want to yes. feel passionate about. And yes, you want it's to certainly true about all about us because uh, I don't think I have ever felt as uh, excited and, and, and devoted to a project, to a, to a musical as I have been, to All About Us. You know, we have, we have worked on this, this show for quite a long time. How long have you been working on All About Us? Well, I don't know, but it's been a number of years. Yeah. Well, not, not consistently, but for at least eight years wow. that we have, before we, we it, it came to, it's coming to fruition. If you had to describe what excites you most about All About Us, what would you say? Well, it, it's important, it's entertaining, it's fun, it's got everything that I love in the musical. It's, it says something of great importance and consequence, and yet it says it with a lot of humor, with, with, a, with a wonderful score, with, uh, uh, with, it, important characters uh, w with a fascinating and a very original kind of story, thanks to Thornton Wilder, of course. And uh, so that, uh, to me, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a perfect joy. It's what is the big question about All About Us? Es essentially, it is, as I mentioned earlier, it's the story of the survival of the human race and what is important in life and what, and, and the, the the importance of the small things mm. that make that that make that enrich our our our, our lives, and uh, it's uh, to uh, and much of the the uh, of the lesson of the uh, is subconscious basically. Mm. Mm. I mean, we are not. There's not a. It's not. There's not a play that that preaches about. But it, it, it says something that makes, makes the audience, I think, if we're successful, feel better, feel more interested in what they're doing, feel what, are, what, what values are, are healthy, what values are useless or meaningless. Mm -hmm. All of that is within this strange play. King Solomon once said that um, there's nothing new under the sun, and I guess by that he meant that the human nature really hasn't changed over the millennium. It, do you think that uh, this says this as well? That I think it says so that's true. I'm not going to fight with King Saul. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So um, that must be exhilarating for people to um, feel connected with the past, um, to realize that people from the ancient times wrestled with kind of the same dilemmas, the same kinds yeah. of problems. And you use the word exhilarate, and it is true. I, it's a very exhilarating feeling working on, the, on this show. Yeah. I've never felt quite as excited about the, a, an opening as I am about this show. Oh, that's fabulous, fabulous. Um, young writers, or all, all different writers, will be watching this um, major population centers in, in the country. Um, what words of wisdom do you like to say to them as far as the art of writing? I can only say what has been said many times before. Write what you feel strongly about 
and write from your heart. And, and if you try to write commercially, you're walking into a swamp. We've been speaking with playwright Joseph Stein, the writer of Fiddler on the Roof, Zorba the Greek, Take Me Along, and The Baker's Wife. Thank you so much for coming. It's been great speaking with you. It was delightful. Thank you. Thank you. We're also here with Elisa Stein, and she had a little bit to do with this play also. And uh, welcome to Rabbi Rock. It's a pleasure yeah. to have you here. And, it's so uh, nice to be here. <laughs> and it's not every day that we get to speak with um, you know, playwrights such as um, your husband. And you're also an actress. One, once upon a time, you were an actress. Yes, I used to be an actress. Can you tell us a little bit about your career? Well, actually, when I was in college, at Vassar College, many years ago, I wanted to be an actress more than anything, and I was in every play, and then we did The Skin of Our Teeth. Right. In fact, I met Thornton Wilder. Wow. Um, and um, it was the most exciting play I was in. And it was the most, Sabina, the maid, was the most interesting character to me. Wow. Then I was dying to do it, and I finally got the part. Good for you. And we did the play, and it was a wonderful memory. And That's then, wonderful. Then I did many plays, and I was in many movies and many plays all over the world. I speak several languages. But the skin of our teas really is one of the best. One of the great And plays. when, when uh, Joe was, uh, and, 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 uh, and his partners, uh, John Kander and Fred Ebb, were looking for something exciting to do. Uh, I suggested the skin of our teeth. Right. And uh, That was a great suggestion. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a fantastic suggestion. And it's really a fantastic musical. It should have been a musical, and it, and it is. And what they did with it is so exciting. And wow. So I feel very good about it. Well, um, it's really, I really appreciate your remarks and your input as far as how you know, this came to be. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'm here with Jody Schoenbren Carter. She is the managing director here at the Westport Country Playhouse. And we're talking about all about us. And it's a pleasure to meet you. And pleasure to meet you. Talk with you today. Tell us about it. To have sort of that compilation of artists coming to the Playhouse is a true honor. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, we've just reopened this wonderful Playhouse and we are having this opportunity to open our season with a big splash. An outrageous, fun musical that, um, quite frankly, people of all ages will truly love and find something to laugh, smile, and giggle at. We have the great pleasure of being with David Brown he is the producer of Jaws, Sting, A Few Good Men, more movies and plays than, than I can mention in one breath or in many breaths. And uh, it's such a great pleasure of having a producer of his caliber here with us today. We welcome David Brown. All About Us has a great score, a terrific script, a wonderful cast, a fine producing organization headed by Jackie, and if there's any justice in the world, people will come to see it. The play, his newest play, All About Us, will be playing on April 14th, 2007, at the Westport Country Playhouse. So uh, come on out and see it, and we'll see you there. You've been watching Rabbi Rock. Shalom. <laughs>